Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Aslam Al Hindi and you are learning SOLIDWORKS 2018. So I will be giving you a brief introduction of SOLIDWORKS. Starting with a sketch. This is a sketch. You have to create a sketch which is a 2D uh, say a graphical representation. I can choose any of the, the planes and I can start my sketch example I'm taking the top top plane and uh, I can start my sketch now this is the the most basic uh, command in SOLIDWORKS then afterwards the next is features there are different features so I'm showing the most basic feature in SOLIDWORKS which is extruded boss behaving like this you can see I can extrude it up I can simply drag this handle or uh, I can give a manual feed of the extrusion I'm just giving you an introduction so now this is a 3D model using a feature applying a feature we can either make a 2D drawing we can uh, either we can change a 2d drawing into a 3d model or we can modify a 3d model the next thing is the surfaces we can use uh, different surfaces for example i'm just deleting this feature and i'm taking this sketch and i'm going for the surface this is the most basic surface extruded surface using this I can create a surface from a line or from a drawing a 2d drawing and there are different operations we can do on the surface as well so this is a surface and uh, the next one is a sheet metal so I'm using the most basic sheet metal which is the base flange uh, selecting the sketch and going for the base flange we can create uh, different kinds of sheets we can fold and unfold them we can create the patterns uh, to create for example the the packaging boxes or the the covers or you can see the envelopes of the machines using the sheet metal we can feed the thickness of the sheet which we are going to use we can provide the bend lungs and the auto relief etc etc giving you showing you just the magic in, uh, in the sheet metal and going for edge flange for example we will be discussing these things in detail later on I'm just giving an introduction to SOLIDWORKS for example I have done this so you can see I have created a bend here and I can flatten it up you can see it is like this so we can create the the layout uh, according to which we have to cut up our sheet metal and then bending on proper uh, on proper locations proper points we can create the desired sheet metal the desired form of box envelope cover or etc so this is uh, basically sheet metal and uh, then we'll be heading forward this is evaluate having different options to evaluate our model I'm showing you just two of them first of all I'm making some extrusion for example this is our product and from here I'm uh, assigning a material um, for example I'm using stainless steel apply close so this is now stainless steel and uh, now going for the evaluate I'm going for the mass properties going here I can see what is the mass of this much part this much this 3d model what is the mass of this model 
you can see it is uh, 2 kilo kilograms and 585.23 grams and I can check the volume which has been shown here the surface area the center of mass I can check all these things here and uh, the axis of inertia I can check all these things here and I can if needed I can make any changes in my model accordingly so this is evaluate and there are different add-ins um, the most I'm starting with this one this is a toolbox now you can choose for structural steels you can take in any kind of for example this is a channel then this is a beam this is an angle and this is T this is a pipe there are different standards of the uh, pipes in different uh, kind of uh, standards like uh, ANSI, BSI, CISC, DIN, ISO, GIS this, th that has been fed into SOLIDWORKS this is pipe and uh, then this is rectangular tube then this is square tube and uh, so on so we can use the for example let me show you just one of them I'm uh, creating I'm importing this dimension of the pipe and once I have done I'm clicking on the done so this is the dimension of that uh, particular standard of the pipe and extruding it I can create the pipe like this showing you this in different direction yeah you can see it can be made like this I'm hiding this one or uh, suppressing this one uh, let me unsuppress yeah now you can see this is the the pipe the standard uh, design of the pipe which I have done there so this was about the the toolbox and uh, then there is a simulation which I can use to Uh, let me just allow it load in yeah this one is here simulation it can be used to check the different stresses and uh, check the model under different conditions for example I'm going for a new study uh, it can be it is a bit long so I'm not uh, going to proceed any further this is to be used for example if I place uh, I fix this portion of the the model and I place a load here on this portion I can see what will happen to this model and on what point how much stress would be built up and what would be the shape of the model under that load so these are the basic things and then also there is this photo view 360 which is used to create a photo realistic images of this model from any different uh, from any specific angle and uh, then this is SOLIDWORKS motion which is used to see the the behavior of this model for example this is just a single part I am uh, going to use two or three parts three components and uh, I can check how they behave with respect to each other 
for example there are two gears how they will be behaving when they will be meshing with each other or there is a chain and sprocket or uh, there are some other things like that so I can check that so these are uh, some of the options which the SOLIDWORKS offers to you and uh, with these you can create and uh, check you can create a model you can assemble some parts and then you can use them to demonstrate the product to the clients so this much is for today thanks